Are you ready to witness the most powerful Japanese aircraft carrier in history? They've been working on a new aircraft carrier that is finally ready for combat, and this major development could change the course of the war in the Pacific. This is a huge moment for Japan, as they continue to build up their military power, and the US is already reacting to the news, and it looks like we're in for an exciting few years ahead. Watch as it dominates the seas and leaves the US Navy in its wake. In this video, I'm going to take you through the amazing story of Japan's new aircraft carrier that is finally ready for action, and how it has left the US shocked. Get ready to be amazed! The Japanese had long sought to increase their defensive capabilities in order to protect themselves from the rapid expansion of China's power. To do so, they began to construct aircraft carriers for the first time since World War II. These ships represented a great investment into Japan's self-defense capabilities, and the construction project was awarded to 1H1 Marine United at a cost of 113.9 billion yen, 1.3 billion dollars. This ship, called Izumo, after the Japanese cruiser that took part in the Battle of Tsushima in 1905, would be followed by another similar vessel in 2017, the Kaga. The Izumo was officially launched on January 27, 2012, and has become an important part of Japan's naval capabilities. The ship is 814 feet long, and displaces 24,000 tons when fully loaded. It features two Aegis combat systems, which were designed by Lockheed Martin, as well as six Phalanx close-in weapon systems units, manufactured by Raytheon, which are capable of intercepting incoming missiles or aircrafts up to two miles away. Additionally, it's armed with 16 Sea Ram anti-aircraft missiles, jointly developed by Raytheon and the General Dynamics, which can engage targets up to nine miles away. In addition to its impressive weaponry, it also contains an internal hangar which can house 14 helicopters or other craft, including the SH-60K ASW helicopter and the UH-60JA transporter chopper, both produced by Kawasaki Heavy Industries. Its deck has been reinforced and containerized in order to facilitate rapid loading and unloading of munitions, supplies, and personnel from air or sea vehicles during operations. Furthermore, there is a hospital facility on board, as well as accommodations for up to 250 crew members, making it possible for extended deployments far away from port bases, without requiring resupply or repatriation trips back home for personal rotation needs. The Izumo serves as a symbol for Japan's commitment to defending itself against external aggression with modern technology and tactics, while still adhering closely to international laws concerning weapon systems usage limitations within its own borders, a feat that few other countries have achieved, yet alone accomplished so swiftly as Japan did with this ambitious project using largely domestically produced components and materials throughout every step of development process leading up to its successful launch. In 2018, the Japanese government approved a naval development program which includes an upgrade to one of the two vessels into a light aircraft carrier. Based on the Lockheed Martin F-35B short takeoff and vertical landing fighter jet, this upgrade began on the Izumo in March 2020 and was completed by July 2021 with a total cost of 3.1 billion yen or 28 million dollars. On October 3, 2021, something truly remarkable occurred on board the Izumo. For the first time since World War II, an aircraft landed on an aircraft carrier's deck. In this case, it was the F-35B Lightning II fifth generation fighter jet from the 242nd Fighter Attack Squadron of the US Marine Air Corps. The second phase of upgrades is scheduled to begin sometime during 2025 if results from using the Izumo as an aircraft carrier prove successful. This would involve changing its shape by enlarging its bow and installing J-slash-PALS electro-optical landing systems, alongside refitting its hangar elevators, fuel weapon storage facilities, and spare parts inventories to enable full deployment of F-35B jets aboard her decks. Something that's been planned since her initial construction stages began back in 2012. 
In terms of technical specifications, however, Japan's F-35Bs fall short compared to those deployed by U.S. Navy aircraft carriers, due mainly to their small size limiting them from having catapults or ramps installed aboard them, thus restricting them only short takeoff and vertical landing options. This is unlike their American counterparts, who utilize full-length runways instead, making it possible for them to take off at full speed, even when heavily armed, giving them superior combat ranges. 708 miles compared to 518 miles, as well as heavier payload capacities, 18,000 pounds compared to 15,000 pounds. Nevertheless, Japan plans on purchasing up to 42 units Block 4 versions. These jets split between those deployed aboard both carriers, 32 apiece, plus another 10 stationed onshore at Mutabaro Air Base, located in southwestern Miyazaki Prefecture, alongside Kyushu Island itself, deploying six units this fiscal year, with another two scheduled next year. After that, when all upgrades are finally completed, turning these two multi-role helicopter carriers into true light aircraft carriers, capable of projecting true air power beyond Japan's own waters, effectively acting as mobile air bases, defying whatever challenges may come near her shores. The Japanese naval exercises held from June 13th to October 28th, 2022, were attended by their newest aircraft carrier, the Azumo. Reports indicated that the Japanese military was very satisfied with the outcome of the upgrade, that can now strike enemy positions up to 580 miles away, causing worry for China and North Korea. Japan's two aircraft carriers, consisting of 32 planes, are inferior to China's power in this area, since they have three carriers, Liaoning, Shandong, and Fujian, ranging from 70,500 to 80,000 tons, and approximately 120 aircrafts. Although it's not as powerful compared to other countries such as the United States, who own 10 aircraft carriers like the John F. Kennedy, which has a displacement of 100,000 tons with a capacity of 90 planes. Or Britain, who has only two, Queen Elizabeth and Prince of Wales, launched in 2017 and 2019, each being 76,600 tons displacement with 50 F-35B fighters respectively. Japan still holds an advantage alongside its allies. The defense strategy for the islands assumes that not only will the Japanese self-defense forces take part, but also America's and Britain's armed forces in order to secure it even further. Due to this improvement, Japan can provide an adequate response to potential threats from China and North Korea alike, although one would rather use these vessels for exercises than combat, as World War III can have devastating consequences on human civilization. It's clear that militarization is increasing among nations around the world. Share your thoughts on this subject in your comments below. If you have any additional insights, Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the bell icon so that you don't miss out on interesting videos about new weapons. Thanks for watching and see you soon.